Welcome to ViewChem, the chemistry animations channel. Determination of pH of a solution. In order to determine the pH of a solution, we need to construct a galvanic cell consisting of two half cells. One half cell should consist of a solution of unknown pH. The other half cell is a secondary standard electrode, whose electrode potential is known. Both these electrodes should be coupled with a potentiometer. The EMF of the cell depends on the concentration of H plus ions in the solution of unknown pH. So, by determining the EMF of the cell, using appropriate formulae, the pH of the solution can be calculated. Determination of pH of a solution by coupling unknown hydrogen electrode with saturated calomel electrode. In a container, HCl solution of unknown concentration is taken. On the left hand side, hydrogen electrode, anode, is set up. On the right hand side, saturated calomel electrode, cathode, is set up. Later, both the electrodes are coupled with potentiometer. Hydrogen gas is bubbled into the solution at anode. Oxidation takes place at hydrogen electrode. The liberated electrons travel towards cathode, where reduction occurs. The developed EMF is measured with potentiometer. The cell can be represented as pH can be calculated as shown below. E cell is equal to E right minus E left. That is, EMF of the cell is equal to electrode potential of saturated calomel electrode minus electrode potential of hydrogen electrode. That is, EMF of the cell is equal to 0.2415 minus of minus 0.0591 pH. So, EMF of the cell is equal to 0.2415 plus 0.0591 pH. Therefore, pH is equal to EMF of the cell minus 0.2415 divided by 0.0591. Determination of pH of a solution by coupling glass electrode with saturated calomel electrode. In a container, HCl solution of unknown concentration is taken. On the left hand side, glass electrode containing 0.1 mHCl solution should be dipped into the HCl solution of unknown concentration. On the right hand side, saturated calomel electrode should be set up. Now, both the electrodes are coupled through potentiometer. It is important to note that, between the outer, and, inner surfaces of the glass bulb, of the glass electrode, a potential difference is generated, due to the difference in the pH values of, two different HCl solutions. 
greater the difference in pH, higher will be the potential difference. This potential difference is the electrode potential of the glass electrode. The potential difference developed between the anode and cathode is measured with the potentiometer. The cell can be represented as We know that E cell is equal to E right minus E left. That is, EMF of the cell is equal to electrode potential of the saturated calomel electrode minus electrode potential of the glass electrode equation 1 now we should find out the electrode potential of the glass electrode at 25 degrees centigrade the potential of the glass electrode can be calculated as eg is equal to e0g plus 2.303 rt divided by f into ph eg is equal to e0g plus 0.0591 pH equation 2 by substituting the value of eg in the equation 1 pH can be calculated so emf of the cell is equal to 0.2415 minus e0g plus 0.0591 pH therefore pH is equal to 0.2415 minus E0G minus EMF of the cell divided by 0.0591. E0G can be determined by using a solution of known H plus ion concentration and then by measuring the EMF of that cell. Determination of pH of a solution using quinhydrone electrode coupled with saturated calomel electrode. In a container, HCl solution of unknown concentration is taken. Next, this solution is saturated with quinhydrone. It is the quinhydrone electrode, cathode. Into this solution, a platinum wire is dipped. This platinum wire is connected to saturated calomel electrode, anode, through a potentiometer. Oxidation takes place at anode. So liberated electrons are utilized for the following reaction at cathode. The cell can be represented as We know that E cell is equal to E right minus E left that is EMF of the cell is equal to electrode potential of quinhydron electrode minus electrode potential of saturated calomel electrode Please note that the electrode potential, EQ, of quinhydrin electrode depends on the concentration of H plus ions in the test solution. EQ can be calculated in the following manner EQ is equal to E0Q minus 2.303 RT divided by 
f into log 1 divided by h plus. That is, eq is equal to e0q minus 2.303 rt divided by f into ph equation 1. The standard electrode potential e0q value of quinhydrin electrode is 0 0.6996 volts. By substituting the value of E0Q, in the equation 1, and, in a solution of known pH, we can calculate the value of EQ. EQ is equal to, 0 0.6996, minus, 0 0.0591 pH. Now, to calculate the EMF of the cell, we should substitute the appropriate values in the below given equation. EMF of the cell is equal to, electrode potential of quinhydrin electrode, minus, electrode potential of saturated calomel electrode. Therefore, EMF of the cell is equal to, 0 0.6996, minus, 0 0.0591 pH, minus, 0 0.2415. That is, 0 0.0591 pH is equal to, 0 0.4581, minus, EMF of the cell. Therefore, pH is equal to, 0 0.4581, minus, EMF of the cell, divided by, 0 0.0591. The electrode potential of quinhydrone electrode depends on the concentration of H plus ions. Accordingly, it may act as, either anode, or, cathode, with respect to calomel electrode. Thanks for watching. Please, like, subscribe and share.